Hey, it's your creative friends. I'm Luke. And I'm your father. Yeah! <laughs> well, we have the brand new 2013 Lego City Fire Station. Set 60004. 752 pieces, all kinds of vehicles and helicopters, and of course, the enormous fire station. So let's just get right to it. Let's zoom in! Here it is, the big fire station set 60004, 752 pieces, five minifigures, a dog, a fire truck, a fire helicopter, another vehicle, the huge two garage, three story fire station with helipad. This set was a whopping five booker. I really like how they did this because I built this with my son and we were able to divide these up. So car in one book, the helicopter in another book, the fire truck in another book, and the last two books were to build the fire station. Let's get to the minifigures. All right, let's get it going with our female firefighter. And like most city minifigures, all of them in this set only have single-sided face. So no need to remove their accessories, just kind of give you the spin around on the pedestal. And this guy's rocking the goatee. He's got some of the orange printing on his torso. And another firefighter. Um, we've seen this before. He has some sweat dripping off his brow there because we do get uh, some additional accessories, uh, the big masks that they wear that would cause them to sweat when they're in fighting fires. And then we'll move to the man in charge of the station. You can tell because he's got a white shirt on and that gold helmet and his radio in the back pocket there. And our last mini figure is the helicopter pilot. And he's got his pilot gear on, he's got the helmet, he's got the cool shades because if you're going to fly a helicopter, you got to look cool at the same time. That's just how we do it at Lego City. No fire station is complete without a Dalmatian and we get a Dalmatian in this set. Really digging it. A couple of the smaller builds on this set include this fire in a box and this little push cart. Whoa, get back here. This little push cart with tools. You can see you can just push it along there and it also has a door that you could open and I think we have a flashlight on the inside yeah so you can put fire extinguishers you get all kinds of different tools in this set like a lot and this is the smallest vehicle that we get in the set we see some stickering on the front side and back and on the roof so this roof piece does come off and that's how we're going to get our firefighters on the inside that is also a sticker on the controls in front of the steering wheel there. In addition, this hatch pulls up and there is some gear, some equipment for the firefighters on the inside. And we have clips for the radio on the side. You know, just your basic car. We get similar cars in smaller sets this year too. Okay, now some things are starting to happen. This is our fire truck that we get. And you can see the stickering along the sides, the front. And you see on this side, we do have the fire hose and we do have water coming out of it. So the string just releases and tightens up that way. And there is a place to clip this in right here to keep it nice and tidy. The ladder, let me zoom out here. 
Now the ladder on this truck is very nice. So we get a full 360 and it can open all the way up and then slide. So you can see I'll just pull this out as far as it goes. Now this is a three-story building and just this ladder, let's see if I can show you, can get all the way to the top of this three-story fire station. So that is a very healthy ladder that they give you and it is sturdy. So the way you build that, there's a couple Technic pieces holding it together. Um, and just the way they've done the hydraulic system there. So it is not loose. You can put this in any position that you want and you'll be good to go. Really like that. This fire truck also has doors on each side. We can see in that way and the roof does come off so you can put the minifigures on the inside. There is also stickering here and there are doors on this side that contain a couple of cones. So if this truck is parked, you can just put these cones up and that will let the other vehicles on the road to kind of scooch by so your firefighters can do what they need to do. And that is our fire truck. And now we are gonna move on to the helicopter. And here is our helicopter. You can see the propeller on top. We've also got one on the side. This lifts up so we can get our minifigure in with the controls right here. Pretty simple build. So some markings indicating that it is a fire helicopter, so stickers along the side and in the rear. And that is our helicopter. Now we get to move on to the main attraction, the fire station itself. And I'm gonna pan up for you here so you can just see how tall it actually is. Three-story fire station. And now we're gonna get a better look. I have our fire engine on the inside. I'm gonna take you around the back. And this is where all the play happens inside the set. So we have two bays, two garages, one to house the fire truck, another for the smaller vehicle. And then we have offices and the quarters where our firefighters hang out. And we come around to the front and you can see through the windows and you can see that radar up on top. So let's get to some of the play features. First off, these doors open like that. And that's just great design. We've seen that before in other sets. And then you can simply push out the vehicles that you need and they slide in nice and easy. They're perfect fits actually for for the bays that they made. Put them back down. Coming around the side, we do have a light post and you can see the sidewalk and there is the inside where the fire truck is stored. Here's a good angle from above so you can see the helipad and we'll take our helicopter off Get a good shot of that landing pad that we have on top. This is the roof of the fire station. Now once again looking at the fire station from the front we do get a door that opens nicely so you can enter. And if you're wondering what this yellow axle is, this is the fire pole that they can use to Get down in a hurry when that alarm rings. Now the only other time I've seen an axle that size 
was at the Lego store when they had these Lord of the Rings swords that you can build and those axles were black so I'm not sure if we've ever seen a yellow axle that size so that was a really nice piece. I'm happy they included it in the set. And we're going to take a look at the first level. So this was the front door here that we just looked at and this is the first level where you can see there is a computer and that is not a sticker that's all printing on the tile uh, but then this screen here that just kind of shows you maybe a map of the city and where the alarms are coming in on that is a sticker that you put on the coffee mug there and we're going to move up to the second level and the second level is where a lot of the tools are stored I'm trying to get this out of the way so you can get a better look so we have a tool rack there and then this is the one that I just pulled off. So a radio and another tool there. And coming up to the third level is where we're going to do some dining. So this is the little kitchen area where we've got a sink, we've got a frying pan, and a table with a couple of Cups of coffee. Uh, my favorite play feature of the set has got to be the fact that you can see that there is a window here, but the middle window is open in every level. And the reason for that is so the firefighters can easily exit and then slide down the pole. And to do that, they put this nice little piece on so a firefighter could slide down the pole and then jump off. Okay, those are the details on our fire station. Okay, those are the details on our fire station. Now stick around for the set scores. All right, I hope you like that review. Now it's time for our set score. And we will start off with the minifigures. Now we get five minifigures in this set. And one dog. One dog. We get Spot. I'm going to give the minifigures on our scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to give them a 7 just because I think the city minifigures, when you compare them with other themed minifigures, they lack a little bit. It's just how I feel about city. Um, so I'm going to go 7 on the minifigures. Playability? How much fun is playability? How much fun is this set? Awesome. Yeah, this has all the playability that you could ever imagine, right? You get the helicopter, you get a fire truck, you, you get... You get two f fire trucks and one helicopter and a fire station. And the fire station has two garages. Yes. And... You know, and it has a roof with a helicopter on it. That, yes, it has a helipad and it also has the pole that you can slide the minifigures down, the fire pole. That's a lot of fun, so I'm gonna go 10 for playability. I think that should be a 100. Okay, and durability. Even though it has a lot of moving parts and it's a fire truck, I mean, you saw on the uh, ladder on the fire truck, that is durable. Man, I remember when I used to have fire trucks as a kid, those ladders would fall off all the time. That is not the case anymore. I'm gonna go 10 on durability for this set. I think that should be a 1,000. All right, value. Now this is $99 at the Lego store, $99, and 752 pieces. Which well, is awesome. It is awesome, but... With well, nine bags, nine bags. That's sure, it. you do get nine bags, and each, uh, each vehicle is kind of like its own bag or yeah, two. Yeah, it's like one book, two book, three book, four book, five book. Yeah. Well, it comes with five books. It's a five booker. Um, That's awesome about the But So still in value, you know, for $99, maybe we could have got some more minifigures or, or some different minifigures. Mm -hmm. Just thinking. Or maybe some other little micro builds in there. I don't know. I just think the piece count could have been a little bit higher. So I'm going to go eight on value. And lastly, we have epicness. Oh, I don't know how epic you can get for a city set, but this set is kind of awesome. And it delivers on a lot of levels. 
and I'm gonna go eight on epicness, and that brings my total score to 43 out of 50. So we'd like to know how you would rate this set. And we hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment. Subscribe. Subscribe. And thumbs up. It's your creative friends. And stay creative. Woo!